but it's a time of year for sugar plums and nut crackers, and you'll have your chance to experience a fun event involving both this weekend. The Kansas City Ballet's Sugar Plum Fairy Luncheon is this weekend, followed by the first of several nutcracker performances. Here with us, Tempe Ostrogen, uh, a sugar plum fairy, mm -hmm. and we have Peter Polishin, uh, the school director for the Kansas City Ballet. First of all, this is your first year performing here in yeah. Kansas City. Yes, it Tell is. me how you got here. Uh, it's an audition process, uh -huh. and the director talks to me, and uh, we discuss the upcoming season. And you talk about that. And you said to me what was really neat is mm -hmm. you, you decided you wanted to do this when you were a little girl because you saw the yeah. Nutcracker. The Nutcracker was my inspiration. I wanted to be one of the dancers running around on stage. And <laughs> my mom thought, uh-oh, I better enroll her in ballet before <laughs> she can do that. So. And here you are. Well, welcome yeah. to Kansas City. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll be, you, I want to talk about the Sugar Plum Fairy Lunch, and I'll be there emceeing again this year. Honored to do that. And thank you for doing that for us. It's we a fundraiser have, for your ballet school. For the school, for for scholarships for uh, students uh, uh, of this, uh, that have uh, needs, special needs, right. or uh, talented students that uh, uh, are looking at this as a career. Right. Let's talk about the the luncheon just for a moment. What I think is so fascinating is that you see all these grandmothers and mothers and a lot of daughters in oh. their holiday best, uh -huh. and they all come for this fantastic, not little luncheon because it's this huge event. Hundreds of people come to this. Yes, uh, it's uh, over 500 people at uh, downtown Marriott uh, this Saturday. 10:30, uh, right? 10:30 to one, and uh, all the guests at the luncheon uh, follow up by going over to the music hall for the two o'clock matinee. It's a great uh, holiday tradition for a lot of these families. And if someone still wants to go, there usually are not tickets still available. This year you have a few tickets still we have available. We a few tickets available. They can uh, contact us either by calling the ballet box office or on the website. I've made it even real easy for them. NBCActionNews.com. We've got a link under Scene On that'll get you straight to your page, allow you to Fabulous. order there. And then you are dancing mm -hmm. this year. Are you mm -hmm. in the 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon performance? I don't know if I'm in that show. Okay, right. because yeah. you guys trade off. Yes, we do. Tell me a little bit about the story of the Sugar Plum Fairy. In case the Sugar Plum know Fairy it. welcomes Clara to the second act, to the land of sweets, which is her dream. All right. Um, yeah. And so then what's your favorite part of the production? Whatever part I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Because you trade off, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a really good answer. And so, do you have advice to someone who might be, wants to become a professional ballerina one day? Follow your dream and work hard. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good advice. I want to see you, Crystal, on your tiptoes. Can you show her? Can I show her? Yeah. Yeah. Can you stand? Something. Because this yeah. is the fun part. Look at your outfit. It. <laughs> We're getting wrapped up. We're hey, Rachel, you ready to be a fan? Nice. nice. Yeah. See, this is so fun. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, little girls, let's look. The Sugar Plum Fairy Luncheon starts at 10.30 Saturday morning. A few tickets left, as we mentioned, followed by that first performance of the Nutcracker. Many more throughout the season, we should mention. New information, NBCActionNews.com. Click on Scene on 41.